200 bushels of oysters arrived at their new home on the North Carolina coast. The next phase in a journey that dates back to 2018 after Hurricane Florence. Uh, we had a lot of shellfish die after the storm. And they got devastated, uh, lost equipment, lost oysters, lost seed. We lost, I would say, uh, about 85 or 90 percent of the oysters. Somehow we came up with the idea to do the spat on shell process uh, to help speed up the recovery of the oysters uh, in the state. As part of this spat on shell project, 12 million oyster larvae were planted in Carteret County's Jarrett Bay, a first of its kind pilot program in our state. Traditionally, uh, the uh, oyster producers, they would shuck their oysters and they would save their shells and they'd let the shells dry out. And then in the spring and early summer, they would put the shells back overboard so spat could attach naturally. In this process, we're, uh, we're aiding nature. We're attaching the spat to the oysters in a controlled environment and then putting the shells overboard with the oyster spat already attached. This might be a quicker process, a more efficient process if it works out and the state may uh, take it over and, and use this process in the future, which will be bigger. Several groups came together to make this happen. We've got the North Carolina Sea Grant, North Carolina Farm Bureau, Fisheries Association, Commercial Fish and Resource Fund, DEQ, everybody kind of coming together to work on a project. It, it's neat and, and it's good to get everybody together, builds that communication and trust. Oysters are a major player in North Carolina's seafood industry, and this is a step to help revitalize the population and ultimately boost business. Oysters are very important to the fishermen. Uh, many fishermen, that's how they make their income from mid-October through the end of March. A lot of restoration projects are just for that restoration and they're not harvestable. But um, in a couple of years when these are big enough, uh, it will be opened up and all the commercial fishermen can go harvest and sell and um, add to their living, which is really important. The Commercial Fishing Resource Fund, as well as donations from North Carolina Farm Bureau's Hurricane Relief Fund, paid for the Spat on Shell project. This deployment is the first of three scheduled along our coast this summer. I'm going to be excited to come over here. I'm going to come check it out in about six months, see what it looks like, see how big the spats are. I think it's good for people to do stuff like this, help everybody out.